Hello everyone, this is Al Red Sox Fan coming to you from Al Red Sox Fan YouTube channel. Hope all is well. We're going to continue with our Action PC Baseball Classic 60s Baseball Season. Dodgers-Mets once again, Game 2. As Sandy Koufax, Captain K, will be on the mound for the boys from La La Land. Taking on Dennis Ribant and the Metropolitans. Game 1 up on the channel for your viewing pleasure as the clash of first place teams continues. Let's get to the starting lineup and play some action PC baseball. For the Dodgers, leading off playing shortstop, Maury Wills, year of choice, 1962. Jim Gilliam will play third, 1962. In left field, Tommy Davis, 1962. The cleanup hitter is the catcher, Johnny Roseboro, 1961. Batting fifth in center field, Willie Davis, 1962. Jimmy Lefevre's at second, 1966. Ron Fairley is out in right, 1965. Wes Parker's at first base, 1969. Batting ninth, Captain K himself, Sandy Koufax. Year of choice, 1965. 28 wins, uh, sorry, 26 wins, 8 losses, 2 saves, with an ERA 2.04. For the New York Mets, Leading off in center field, Cleon Jones, 1969. Batting second, doing the catching, Chris Canizero, 1964. In right field, Joe Christopher, 1964. In left field, the cleanup hitter, Frank Thomas, 1962. Ron Swoboda is at first base, 1967. Ron Hunt. At second base, 1963. Manning the hot corner for the Metropolitans, Charlie Smith, 1965. Bud Harrelson's at short, switch hitter, 1967. On the mound for the Mets, Dennis Ribant, 1966. He was 11 and 9 with three saves and a 3.20 earned run average. In the replay, he's 1-0 and with a 1.29. Seven defensive range on the mound for Dennis Ribbant. Behind the plate, Chris Canizero, three range, two arm, not bueno. Smith is a five range at third. Harrelson's an eight at short. Hunt is a six at second. And Swoboda is a three at first. As we go heavy, right-handed lineup against the lefty, Sandy Koufax. Frank Thomas in left, seven range, three arm. Leon Jones in center, three range, two arm, and Joe Christopher in right, seven range, six arm. Maury Wills to lead things off, 10 game hit streak. Excellent bunter, corners will move in, so Swoboda in at first, Smith in at third. The pitch from Ribant to Wills. Ball game on its way, fouled back to the screen, 0-2 count on Maury Wills, he digs his heels back in. Switch hitter batting lefty. Ribant kicks and deals. Fly ball, shallow center, and it's going to drop in front of Cleon Jones. Murray Wills extends his hit streak to 11 games. Swoboda to hold him on, and that brings up Jim Gilliam, Dodger third baseman, batting 179 and six ribbies. They throw over. Wills gets back. Still most likely going to steal. Here's the pitch out. Wills doesn't go. They pitch out again. There goes Wills. Canizero throws down. Harrelson applies the tag. And they got him. They get Maury Wills on the pitch out. Chris Canizero throws a strike to Bud Harrelson, who tags him out. One down. So Jim Gilliam now bats with a 2-0 count and base is empty. Canizero wiggles the fingers. Ribant's ready to work. The pitch towards the plate. And he walks Gilliam. 
So one out, one on for Tommy Davis. Davis, Dodger left fielder, 244, a home run and seven RBI. Swoboda holds Gilliam on. Slide step, they throw over, and Gilliam gets back. The pitch to Tommy Davis. Fly ball, deep center field. Jones going back, going back, and he makes the catch in front of the wall. Gilliam goes back to first. Two outs. Gilliam will be off on contact. And that brings up the catcher, Johnny Roseboro. Again, they throw over to first. Gilliam shortens up his lead. Johnny Roseboro, 243, three homer, six ribbies. Canizero sets the target. The pitch to his counterpart, Roseboro. Outside corner, fly ball, deep center field. Cleon Jones on his horse again, and again he makes the catch in front of the wall. The side is retired. Bottom of the first, no score here at Shea. Due up for the Mets, Jones, Kenazero, and Christopher. If anyone gets on, the cleanup hitter, Frank Thomas. At the ballpark, RJL518. More baseball, go Mets, he says. Check out his wonderful channel. Just did some history maker golf, his version of the PGA Tour final day. I enjoyed it immensely. So here's Cleon Jones, 184, seven homers and one ribby. Colfax is a three defensive range on the mound. Johnny Rose Roseboro behind the plate, 10 range, eight arm. Gilliam's a four range defensively at third. Maury Wills is a 10 at short. Lefevre's a five at second. And Wes Parker is a 10 at first. In left field, Tommy Davis, eight range, six arm. In center, Willie Davis, eight range, seven arm. And Ron Fairley in right, six and six, range and arm. The pitch to Cleon Jones. He's looking for the drag bunt base hit. Roseboro lets it roll foul. 0-2 count. Koufax looking for his first K. The high leg kick and the pitch. Jones rips that shot. And it's a hustle double. As Cleon Jones challenges the arm of Willie Davis who had a move a good distance to his right to cut the ball off so it would not gap fairly and himself and roll to the wall, but Cleon Jones hustling all the way out of the box, gets a leadoff double. Our good friend RJL518, remember to check out that channel, asks, what year is Koufax? As he joined us slightly late. The year for Sandy Koufax, 1965. So Jones at second, and here's Chris Canizero. 235, no homers, no ribbies. Christopher on deck. Worst case scenario, if you're a Mets fan, you want Canizero to hit the ball on the ground to the right side. The pitch from Sandy. And there's a base hit up the middle. Jones hits third, and he'll be held up. Only a 46% chance of scoring. So first and third, throw goes into Maury Wills. No outs for Joe Christopher, 179, one homer and eight ribbies. Looking for ribby number nine or more. Thomas on deck. Christopher awaits the Koufax offering. Pitch homeward bound. Popped up left side. Koufax jammed and Maury Wills racing towards the line, calling for it. Tommy Davis coming in, but it's Maury Wills. He makes the diving catch. Jones bluffs, but does not tag. So now a double play. We'll get Koufax and the Dodgers out of this inning. And here's big Frank Thomas. Thomas, 220, one homer, five ribbies. Swoboda on deck. Canizero at first, Jones at third. Koufax picks up the sign from Roseboro. The lineup and the pitch. And Thomas goes down via the K. Mighty swing on the 0-2 fastball. That's a first strikeout for Koufax. So there's two outs. Runner still on the corners. Now it's up to Ron Swoboda. This would be a tremendous squander here for the Mets. Swoboda, 375 with two ribbies. Ron Hunt on deck. Johnny Roseboro wiggles the fingers, sets the target. Koufax is ready. He kicks and deals. And he strikes out Swoboda. The side is retired.
Koufax and the Dodgers wiggle out of it after the leadoff double by Cleon Jones. Top of the second, no score here at Shea. Do up for the Dodgers. Willie Davis, Jimmy Lefevre, and Ron Fairley. If anyone gets on, Wes Parker. Ribant back up on the bump. Here's Willie Davis, 326 with four ribbies. Davis, a left-handed batter. The pitch to Davis. Outside corner, ground ball right side. Hunt up with it. Throws to Swoboda, one away. So Ribant gets the task of battling Sandy Koufax. That brings up Jimmy Lefevre, 147 with two runners knocked in. Switch hitter batting lefty. Second baseman looking to pick up the hitting a bit as he has slumped mightily early on. The windup and the pitch to Lefevre. Outside corner, grounded to Harrelson. Buddy throws to Swoboda, two down. Base is empty for the Dodger right fielder, Ron Fairley, 184 with two ribbies. Ribbon and the Mets looking for a 1-2-3 inning. Canizero goes through the signs. Ribbon nods, nods his head. He deals. Fairley grounds it. Harrelson charging to his left. The shortstop guns it to Swoboda, and 1-2-3 go the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the second, scoreless at Shea. Sandy Koufax back up on the hill. He will face Hunt, Smith, and Harrelson if anyone gets on. The pitcher, Dennis Ribant. Ron Hunt, 375. No homers, no ribbies. The pitch to Hunt. Ground ball, Gilliam has it. Over to Parker, one down. That brings up Charlie Smith, 667. No homers, no ribbies. Johnny Roseboro sets up inside. The pitch from Captain K, Sandy Koufax. And he strikes him out as it tailed out over the plate. And that is the third strikeout for Sandy Koufax as he overpowers Smith. Two outs, bases empty for Bud Harrelson. The Mets shortstop batting 423. No homers and three ribbies. On deck is Ribbant. Harrelson goes for the drag bunt. Roseboro again lets it roll foul. So Harrelson's in the hole, 0-2. The pitch to Bud. Fly ball, shallow center. Willie Davis moving to his left. The side is retired as he makes the catch. Pop, top of the third, scoreless here at Shea. Due up for the Dodgers, Parker, Colfax in the top of the order, Maury Wills. Wes Parker, 226, a home run and six ribbies. Switch hitting Parker, batting lefty. Ribant picks up the sign from Canizero. He kicks and fires. Base hit, right center, as Parker takes that outside pitch to right center. So Parker's at first, Swoboda will hold him on. Here's Koufax. They're going to try to jam Sandy. He puts the bunt down. It's a pretty good one. So Boda charges and he tags out Koufax. So Koufax took that inside fastball and just pushed it down the first baseline. Good job by Koufax. So Boda fielded it. Then Sandy basically stopped running. And so Boda had to tag him out. So Parker's in scoring position. Top of the order, Maury Wills. Wills walked and then was thrown out on the pitch out as Chris Canizero fired down to Buddy Harrelson who applied the tag. Actually, he singled his first time up. The pitch to Wills. Ground ball to Hunt. Hunt throws to Swoboda. Two down, advancing to third is Wes Parker. As now the Dodgers threaten to score. Go ahead and run in this tie, uh, scoreless tie. Wes Parker 90 feet away. Here's Jim Gilliam. Gilliam walked his first time up on deck is Davis, Tommy Davis, the left fielder. Ribbent rubs up the baseball. He's back up on the perch. The windup and the pitch to Gilliam. Ground ball back to Ribbent. He snares it, throws to first, and the side is retired. Parker is stranded at third. 
We go to the bottom of the third, still scoreless at Shea. Due up for the Mets. Ribant and then the top of the order, Jones and Canizero. Ribant, 0 for 2 in this season. Koufax deals to his counterpart. And Ribant promptly strikes out on three pitches. Fourth K for Sandy Koufax. Top of the order, Cleon Jones. He doubled his first time up. Canizero on deck. Jones awaits the Koufax offering. Sandy kicks and fires. Jones swings, ground ball. Maury Wills deep short. Fires a strike to Parker, two away. And that will bring up the catcher, Chris Canizero. He singled his first time up. The pitch to Canizero. Ground ball. Lefevre has it. Throws to Parker. And one, two, three, go the Mets. Koufax in complete control right now. Top of the fourth. No score here at Shade. Due up for the Dodgers. Davis. Roseboro. And the center fielder, Willie Davis. Battle of first place teams, the Dodgers in first in the National League West, the Mets in first in the National League East, both seven and three. Tommy Davis 0 for one. Corners move in, he's a seven punter. The pitch to Tommy. And he rips a shot down the left field line. It's gonna be extra bases. Thomas digs it out, the throw to third, not in time. As Tommy Davis has a leadoff triple, and the Dodgers are threatening to put the first run up on the board. Here's Johnny Roseboro, Dodger catcher and cleanup hitter. He is 0 for 1. The Mets will play the infield in with Koufax on the mound. The pitch to Roseboro. And they call catcher's interference. So Roseboro advances to first. So it's first and third, no outs. Now bring the Dodgers center fielder, Willie Davis, to the plate. He's 0 for 1 again. Do they play for 2? Give up the run. I think that's what we'll do. The pitch to Willie Davis. Popped up foul territory. This could be a big out if Swoboda has room. He's moving towards the stands. I don't think he'll have room. He reaches in the stands. Foul ball. 2-2 Two -two count. They do it again. Ribant would love a strikeout here. He rocks and fires. Fly ball to Christopher. Christopher going back a bit. He makes the catch. Davis to tag up. The throw goes into Hunt. 1-0 Dodgers on the sack fly by Willie Davis. Roseboro at first, one out for Jimmy Lefevre. Lefevre is 0 for 1. They throw over to first. Roseboro gets back. Now the pitch to Lefevre. And he strikes him out. Good job by Ribant on the 1 2. Swing and a miss on the slider. So with two outs, Roseboro will be off on contact. At the plate, left-handed batting right fielder, Ron Fairley, he's 0 for 1. Ribbant, arms down to his chest. The windup and the pitch to Fairley. Fly ball, Jones going back, right center. Makes the catch, the sides retire, but the Dodgers score first on the sack fly. Bottom of the fourth, 1-0 Dodgers at the ballpark. Our good friend Chris from Tabletop Sports Delaware. Check out that wonderful channel. I had some Glory Days boxing up on the channel. I have to continue watching that a little later. Hector Camacho versus Manny Pacquiao. For the Mets, it'll be Christopher, Thomas, and Swoboda. If anyone gets on, Hunt to face Sandy Koufax. Koufax, three innings, two hits, no runs, four Ks. The pitch to Christopher. Pops it up behind the plate, Roseboro. Tosses the mask aside, waits for it to come down, goes towards the screen, and he makes the catch, leaping into the screen, one away. Here's Frank Thomas, 
Thomas was a strikeout victim against Koufax. He's 0 for 1. The high leg kick and the pitch to Thomas. Rip shot to Gilliam at third. Two down. Thomas hit it on the screws and nothing to show for it, as we like to say. Two out spaces empty for Ron Serbota. He's 0 for 1. He, too, was a strikeout victim. Ron Hunt on deck. Roseboro goes through the sides. Koufax is ready. Pitch homer bound to Ron Swoboda. Pops it up, left side. Maury Wills, outfield grass, calling for it, waiting for it to come down. He squeezes his glove, and that's out number three. Top of the fifth, one nothing Dodgers. Do up to face Ribbon and the Mets. Parker, Colfax, in the top of the order, Maury Wills. Wes Parker is one for one. The windup and the pitch to Parker. He walks. Cannizero tried to frame that outside pitch to no avail. So Parker's on for a second time, this time via the free pass. They throw over. Parker gets back. Here's the pitch out. Parker stays put. Koufax most likely will bunt. Ribbant's going to try to jam him again. He puts the bunt down. They throw to second. They get the lead runner. This time, no, they don't. Oh, my Lord. Canizero will be charged with a throwing error as it glanced off the glove of Buddy Harrelson into center field, but Cleon Jones backed it up. Oh, boy, oh, boy. So they don't get anybody. Koufax at first, Parker at second. Top of the order, Maury Wills, who's one for two. Wills was caught stealing, though. one nothing Dodgers, top of the fifth. <clears throat> Here's the pitch to Maury Wills. Wills grounds it right side. Swoboda takes the sure out at first as Ribant covers. Swoboda thought about going to second. And Harrelson to get Koufax, but took the sure out. One out, second and third now. For Jim Gilliam, he's 0 for 1. He has walked and grounded to the pitcher. The pitch to Gilliam. Ground ball. Harrelson charges from short. And he'll eat the ball as it's a risky play. And the run will score. It is 2-0. Parker comes in. Koufax goes to third. Gilliam gets an infield hit and a ribby. So it is 2-0. Dodgers. And that Seems like a million runs with Sandy Koufax on the mound. Here's Tommy Davis. He's one for two. The pitch to Tommy. Base hit to right. Koufax trots in. And Joe Christopher bobbles the ball. And Gilliam goes to third. Probably would have went to third anyway. But that's a second error on the Mets as Davis advances to second. Mets shooting themselves in the foot. They're not going to have many toes left. It's now 3-0 with one out. Roseboro at the plate. Willie Davis on deck. Infield moves in. They're going to try to jam Ribant. Uh, Ribant's going to try to jam Roseboro. He kicks and fires. And he walked him as it slides out over the plate. He badly missed location. Base is juiced. No place to put Willie Davis. Now they're hoping for the double play ball. All started with that throwing error by Canizero. Canizero sets the target. The pitch homeward bound to Willie Davis. Fly ball deep left. Frank Thomas going back. He makes the catch. He pivots. And he fires towards the plate. Gilliam will score. No! Canizero blocks the plate. And that is out number three. Holy cow, what a job by Canizero. What a throw by Frank Thomas. The Dodgers did plate two more. We go to the bottom of the fifth, three nothing Dodgers. Well, let's watch that over again. Thomas goes back. Catches, pivots, and fires towards the plate. Canizero blocks the plate. Gilliam never touched it, and you are out. Possibly gives the Mets some hope in this game. 
3-0. Koufax back up on the bump. He struck out four. The pitch to Ron Hunt, who's 0 for 1. Hunt grounds it slowly to Gilliam. Gilliam has to make a quick fire. He does. It's straight and true. One down. Now bring up Charlie Smith. Bud Harrelson's on deck. Smith 0 for 1. Roseboro wiggles the fingers. Koufax with a quick nod of the head. The windup and the pitch to Smith. Popped up, foul territory, left side. Gilliam ranging towards the stands. I think he's going to run out of room, though. And he does. 0-2 count, we do it again. Koufax kicks and fires. And he strikes him out. Roseboro drops the ball, fires to Parker to complete the strikeout. And that is the fifth K for Sandy Koufax, Captain K. Two outs, base is empty for Bud Harrelson. He's 0 for 1. Koufax picks up the sign. He deals to Buddy Harrelson. Line shot to left. Tommy Davis traps the ball. It'll be a base hit. So Bud Harrelson's at first. Two outs. Here's Ribant. Do you pinch hit now? Ribant's thrown 80. Pitch is good for 125. 0 oh, for 3 so far. Ribant's going to hit. He's going to take. They slide step, throw over. Harrelson gets back. Ribant taking. There's a strike. Fastball right down the middle. 0-1 oh, count. Koufax. Shakes off Roseboro. Now he deals. Ribant sends that ball to shallow left. Tommy Davis makes the catch. And the Mets once again go scoreless. We go to the top of the sixth. 3-0 Dodgers. Bears Den 007. Hope all is well. Thank you for joining us at the ballpark. Do up for the Dodgers with a 3-0 lead. Lefevre, Fairley, and Parker. If anyone gets on, Sandy Koufax. Lefevre's 0 for 2 off Dennis Ribant. Canizero sets the target. The pitch to Jimmy Lefevre. Base hit to right as he pulls that outside pitch to the outfield. Now bring up Ron Fairley. Swoboda holding the fever on. Pickoff attempt. The fever gets back. Again, Ribant looks to first. Now in at the plate. He kicks and deals. Ground ball to Hunt. Hunt boots it! The third error for the Mets! Oh my lord, you're not going to beat Sandy Koufax committing three freaking errors. At the ballpark, Big Polly's World of Sports Sims. He had a nice live chat that I was in the chat room with. Very pleasant. Check out Big Polly's World of Sports Sims, another wonderful YouTube content creator in our community. Two on, no outs. And here's Wes Parker. Parker has singled and walked. The pitch to Parker. Mets hoping for the double play ball. Fly ball, deep center. Jones going back. He'll make the catch. Lefevre, will he tag? Yes, he will. But the throw safe. As Harrelson let it go through. Still the double plays in order. And here's Sandy Koufax. The pitch to Koufax. Ribant looking to jam him. And he strikes him out. So two outs, top of the order. 3 nothing Dodgers. And that's how Ribant wants to keep it. Lefevre at third, Fairley at first. Maury Wills is one for three. Extended his hit streak to 11 in his first at-bat and then was thrown out. They throw over to first. And Fairley gets back. Pitch out. Fairley goes. No, he bluffed. Canizero bluffed the throw as Lefevre broke towards the plate. One ball, no strikes. The pitch to Wills. Fly ball, shallow center. Jones races in. He makes the catch. And Ribant as the Dodgers strand two. That's huge. It's still a 3-0 deficit, but there's some slight hope for the Mets as we go to the bottom of the six against Sandy Koufax and the Dodgers. Top of the order for the Mets. Jones, Canizero, Christopher, if anyone gets on, Frank Thomas. 
Sandy Koufax, five innings, three hits, five Ks, no runs. Cleon Jones has a hit off Sandy. He doubled and then grounded to short. The pitch to Neon Cleon Jones. Base hit the center. So Jones now two for three. That brings up Chris Canizero. He also has a hit off Koufax. He singled and grounded to second. Put some at-bats here together for the Mets. Koufax looks to first. Now in at Roseboro. The high leg kick and the pitch. Canizero grounds it back to Koufax. He pivots. He throws to Maury Wills who fires to Parker. Canizero beats it out. One out, one on for Joe Christopher. His average is now dropped to 171 with his old foot. Here's the pitch to Joe. Slide step over, Canizero gets back. Now the pitch homeward bound. Christopher strikes out, 0 for 3. That is the sixth strikeout for Sandy Koufax. Frank Thomas, who made that tremendous throw after making the catch going back in left field, pivot and fired to Canizero, and Gilliam was gunned out at the plate when Canizero said none shall pass. Can big Frank get a big hit? He is struck out and lined to third. The pitch to Frank Thomas from Koufax. And he strikes him out again, and the side is retired. Sandy mowing them down. Top of the seventh, three-nothing Dodgers. Ribant trying to keep the Mets in this game. He gave up a single run in the fourth and two in the fifth. He'll face Gilliam, Davis, and Johnny Roseburg. The pitch to Jim Gilliam, one for two. Fly ball, left field, Thomas camping, one down. Now bring up Tommy Davis, two for three. Flew out to deep center, tripled, and then doubled. Knocking in Gilliam. Canizero sets the target. The pitch to Tommy Davis. Inside corner, base hit. He pulled it to left. He's now three for four. Tommy Davis having quite a good day. Davis at first. Sobota holds him on. For Johnny Roseborough, 0 for 1. He's flown out to deep center. Awarded first on catcher's interference. And those last time up in the fifth, he walked. Slide step. They throw over. Davis gets back. They throw over again. Davis gets back. Here's the pitch out. Davis goes. A throw down by Canizero. And Davis is safe. He's in scoring position. One ball, no strikes. Ribant peeks over his shoulder. Now he kicks and fires to Roseboro. Popped him up. Canizero throws the mask askew. Going back towards the screen. Will he have room? Yes, he does. One down. That's a huge out. Center fielder Willie Davis strides to the plate. He's 0 for 2. On deck, Jimmy Lefevre. The pitch to Willie. The ball gets away from Canizero. And quickly going to third is Tommy Davis. Two outs. 1-1 one, one count. 3 nothing Dodgers. Pass ball will be charged to Canizero. Ribant back up on the bump. Arms down to his chest. He kicks and fires. And he walked him. Runners on the corners with two outs for Jimmy Lefevre. He's one for three. He's grounded out, struck out, and singled. On deck, Ron Fairley. Let's look at their bullpen for a moment. They're going to stick with Ribant. The pitch to Lefevre. Canizero wants to make sure they're on the same pitch. Page, pitch homeward bound. Fly ball, shallow right. Christopher coming in. He bobbles in and Christopher makes the catch. Holy cow. Christopher makes the catch, avoiding the Mets. Fourth error. As the ball popped out of his glove, he literally... Pinned it to his chest. 
for out number three. We go to the bottom of the seventh, which was it's been a horrific fielding day for the Mets. They've made some fabulous plays, and they've made some putrid plays. They played take me out to the ball game. Do up for the Mets, Swoboda, Hunt, and Smith. If anyone gets on, Bud Harrelson at the ballpark, Bleacher Bums Gaming, our good friend Anthony. Remember to check out Glory Days Boxing. The light heavyweight set is out. I purchased my PDF, and I await my printed card set, hopefully this coming week. So here we go. Ron Swoboda's 0 for 2. Sandy Koufax, 6 innings, 4 hits, no runs, 7 Ks. The pitch to Swoboda. Fly ball, deep left. Tommy Davis going back. It's off the wall. Ron Swoboda doubles, the second double of the game. The first one came to lead off the bottom of the first. Cleon Jones, but now Swoboda does it. He just missed a homer. That brings up Ron Hunt, who's 0 for 2. On deck is Smith, the third baseman. Can Hunt get a big hit here? Mets trying to put something on the board. Koufax asks for a new baseball. He gets it. Back up on the bump. Peers over his shoulder. Now he kicks and fires to Hunt. Ground ball, right side. Lefevre will go to first. Advancing to third is Ron Sobota. One out. Mets have... A runner, 90 feet away from scoring, and that brings up Charlie Smith. Smith is 0 for 2. Buddy Harrelson on deck. Smith digs in that right-hander's batter's box. Koufax looking for K number 8. Koufax nods his head. Roseboro sets the target. The high leg kick and the pitch to Charlie Smith. Base hit to right, and the Mets are finally on the board. Swoboda scores. It's now 3-1. to one. Smith a little behind that fastball, but he had enough oomph off the bat to knock it to right field. Tying run comes to the plate, and Bud Harrelson, the odds of him hitting a homer are slim to none. As Bleacher Bums Gaming says, he's going to have a light heavyweight fight between Maxie Rosenblum Slapsy Maxi and James Scott after the game. Will it be from Rawlway State Prison in New Jersey? That's the question. RJL518 says White Sox Yankees payoff pitch card and dice 1994 pennant race later tonight. So that's stuff coming up in our sports sim community. So Harrelson's one for two. He's the tying run at the plate. Smith just knocked in a run. He's at first. Parker holding him on. The pitch to Bud. Harrelson grounds it slowly to short. Wills moving to his left. Fires to Parker. They get Harrelson. Advancing to second is Charlie Smith. Tabletop Sports Delaware asks me, can I say Mazeroski? Yes, I can. As Bleacher Bums Gaming corrects me, it's Rollaway's Maximum Security State present. Or Maximum Security Section. If you're unfamiliar with Jake Scott, he boxed out of present. In fact, Dwight Braxton, who then would change his name after he won the title for Matthew Saad Muhammad. Is it Matthew Saad Muhammad? Yes. Uh... And again, would change his name to, to Dwight Kwai. Actually, beat James Scott in Rawlway State President. So here, the rear band will not bat. We'll call for a pinch hitter. The pinch hitter will be Jerry Grody will pinch hit one of our four catchers. On the team, Brody, 333, no homers, two ribbies. Smith at second. Grody represents the tying run at the plate. Not much pop, pop in the Grody bat, but he could knock in a run here. Roseboro has a quick word with Koufax back behind the plate. The pitch to Jerry Grody. 
And he strikes out. So Koufax picks up a big K. The Mets do score one, though. We go to the top of the eighth, 3 1 Dodgers here at Shea. A battle of first place teams, both 7 and 3. What will it be? We shall see. And I think. Brody will stay in the catch. Canizero comes out of the game. And the new pitcher will be. Who's going to face Fairley, Parker, and Koufax? So they got lefty, switch hitter, and Koufax. Don't really want to use McGraw here. Ron Taylor has been not good. But we're going to go with Ron Taylor. So Ron Taylor will come in. Actually, this will be the only inning for Taylor. And this will go in the two spot. So Ron Taylor goes in the two spot. They just want him to get through the top of the eighth. Fairley's 0 for 3. Ron Taylor, year of choice, 1969. And as you see, 9 and 14 with 13 saves in 1969 with 2.72. And the replay... 0 and 1 with two saves and an ERA of 9. The pitch to Fairley, who's 0 for 3. Fly ball, left field going back is Thomas, and Frank makes the catch one down. Wes Parker steps to the plate, switching first baseman, batting lefty. He's 1 for 2. Taylor deals quickly Lee to Parker. Quickly Lee, what the hell? Line out to Smith. I don't think quickly Lee is a word. Quickly. So there's two down. Two down. So Taylor's been hit pretty hard, but he gets two outs and he faces Koufax. Koufax 0 for 1 with a sack bunt. The pitch to Sandy. And he strikes out. So Taylor does his J-O-B, keeps it a two-run deficit. We go to the bottom of the eighth. 3-1 Dodgers. It'll be Jones, a pinch hitter for Taylor, and Christopher. If anyone gets on, big Frank Thomas. Bleacher Bums Gaming with a nice public announcement. It says, also, guys, if you haven't, give RJL518 a sub. Payoff pitch, 1994 and 1921. That's his Cardinals replay. Anthony, our good friend from Bleacher Bums Gaming, is doing a 1921 replay of the Yankees. So it's they kind of coincide. Philip Reynolds gives us an update. How you doing, Philip? He says, Dallas, St. Louis going to a shootout. Leon Jones is two for three. Koufax, seven innings, six hits, one earned run, eight strikeouts. The pitch to Neon Cleon Jones. Ground ball to Maury Wills. Wills fires a strike to Parker, one down. Mets down to their final five outs of the ball game. And of course, don't forget to check out all the wonderful channels in the chat such as Big Polly's World of Sports Sims. If you haven't subbed him, please do so. Tabletop Sports Delaware, Philip Reynolds, all wonderful channels. If you haven't subbed, please do so. Check out their channels. Watch a video. Maybe you can't watch them all. None of us can watch them all, but you can watch some. And you know what? You can always go by and hit that like button and go back and watch later. But they're all fine YouTubers. Taylor will not bat. We will now go with a different Taylor. I love that I have four catchers. 32-man rosters, all eligible. We're playing without injuries. Um, and no rainouts. <laughs> this is an imaginary league. Go to Hawk Taylor. What's his slugging percentage against lefties? Jim Hickman. We're going to go to Jim Hickman. Jim Hickman grabs a bat. One out. He'll pinch hit for Taylor, the pitcher. Jim Hickman, Jim, Jim Hickman year of choice, 1963. Batting 429, no homers, two ribbies. Koufax with eight Ks, looking for number nine. The high leg kick and the pitch to Hickman. 
And he strikes him out. Oh boy, Sandy is fierce. That's strikeout number nine. And here comes Joe Christopher to the plate. Christopher's average with his 0 for 3 is now dropped to 167. He has driven in eight runs though. Frank Thomas on deck. If Christopher can get on, Thomas is the tying run at the plate. Koufax picks up the sign from Roseboro. He kicks and fires to Christopher. Fly ball, shallow center. Willie Davis coming in. He makes the catch. We go to the top of the ninth. 3-1 Dodgers. Who will come on for the Mets to face the top of the order? Wills, Gilliam, who are both switch hitters, and the righty, Tommy Davis, the left fielder. We bring in McGraw. He pitches better against righties. They're going to... Wills and Gilliam will bat from the right side. Except we're really using McGraw a lot. He's good for about 100 innings. And he's on pace for 129 early in this season. But here comes Tug. Tug McGraw will come in. Maury Wills won for four, extended his 10-game hit streak with a single in the first to 11. The pitch from McGraw to Maury Wills. Ground ball slowly to the right side. Swoboda backhands it, tosses to McGraw, who steps on the bag, one down. That brings up Jim Gilliam. He is one. Oh, my God, it's a throwing error. The Mets commit their fourth error, and the guy... I, Counted the chickens before they hatched. I thought he was out, but the ball gets away from McGraw. A horrible throw by Swoboda. Wills is at second. No outs. Here's the pitch to Gilliam. One for three. And he walks. Brilliant. <laughs> that brings up Tommy Davis. He has three hits today. And on the walk, it gets even better for the Mets. Not only is it a walk, it was a wild pitch by McGraw as the curveball bounced in front of Grody. He gets gets by Grody, and Maury Wills advances to third. Unbelievable. The Mets' defense has really put them behind the eight ball time and time again. Infield moves in. Actually, pickoff attempt. First base. Gilliam gets back. Now the infield will move in. Tommy Davis looking for his fourth hit. McGraw's going to try to jam him. Popped up. McGraw jammed him. Right side. Hunt has to go a long way. The infield was in. Hunt racing towards the right field foul line. Christopher won't get there. Will Hunt get there? He makes the catch. Did he make the catch for God's sakes? Yes. Thank God. We don't get error number five. Oh, my Lord. So one out. Runners on the corners. Mets open to turn two here. Um, do we want to play that halfway? Mets play the infield halfway to try to ensure a double play. They throw over to first again. Gilliam gets back. Now the pitch to Roseboro who's 0 for 2. Ground ball. Hunt diving. Stop. He flips to Harrelson. Throw it, Buddy! But Buddy is upended by Gilliam. The run scores. What a play by Hunt, but they can't turn two. Will scores from third RBI for Johnny Roseboro. It's now 4-1 to one Dodgers. Once again, a three-run lead for the boys from La La Land. That brings up Willie Davis, who's 0 for 2. The pitch to Willie. Fly ball, shallow center. Jones moving to his left. Makes the diving catch. And the side is retired. The Mets, again, have made some magnificent plays and then some absolutely putrid defensive plays. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Dodgers with a three-run lead. It's LA 4, New York 1. Koufax looking for the complete game victory here. Eight innings, six hits, one earned run, nine strikeouts. No free passes. The Mets in their last ditch attempt to tie it or win it will send up Frank Thomas, Ron Swoboda, Ron Hunt and if anyone gets on the third baseman Smith. Thomas who threw out Gilliam at the plate. A tremendous throw. 
after making a good catch. Canizero was the catcher, then he blocked the plate. Is 0 for 3. The pitch to Big Frank. Fly ball, deep center. Davis going back. He makes the catch, one down. Mets have two outs of baseball life left. Ron Sobota's 1 for 3. He doubled in his last plate appearance. Koufax looking for K number 10. Nods his head. Roseboro sets the target. Pitch homeward bound to Ronnie Swoboda. And he strikes him out on the 0-2. Oh, boy. A nasty curveball outside corner. A late strike three. Swoboda barks at the man in blue. But the Mets are down to their last batter. Ron Hunt. Can he extend the game? He's 0-3. for 3. The pitch... From Koufax to Hunt. Popped up. Center of the diamond infield. Wills and Lefevre converge. Lefevre calling for it. And this ball game is over. Sandy Koufax and the Dodgers come into Shea. They take the first two games, proving to them that West is better than East, at least in this series so far. 4-1 victory for the Dodgers. bring up the stat package in a moment I'd like to thank everyone who's joined me appreciate your time hope you enjoyed the game and now to the stat package Koufax goes the distance nine innings six hits one run it was earned no walks he struck out 10 he's now two and oh for the Dodgers in this Action PC Classic 60s baseball season. Ribbant didn't pitch poorly at all. He only gave up two earned runs, three runs in total, as the Mets made four freaking errors. He's now 1-1. One and one. So seven innings for Dennis Ribbant. Seven hits, three runs, two of them earned, four walks, two Ks. Taylor pitched a scoreless inning. And struck out one. And McGraw gave up a run. It was unearned. And he pitched an inning and walked one. And, uh, Dodgers are now 8-3. and three. The Mets' two-game losing streak are now 7-4. and four. Let's go to the batting. Dodgers mustered seven hits. Maury Wills won for three a run scored. He was caught stealing also. Gilliam, one for three, a ribby and two walks. Tommy Davis, three for five, a run scored and a ribby. He doubled and tripled. Roseboro, 0 for three, with a ribby and a walk. Willie Davis, the center fielder, 0 for three, with a ribby and a walk. Jimmy Lefevre, one for four, with a strikeout. Ron Fairley, 0 for four. Wes Parker, one for three, with a run scored and a walk. Sandy Koufax, 0 for two, had a sack bunt. Reached on an error when he was bunting. Scored a run and struck out twice. The Dodgers in their 4-1 victory. 32 at-bats, 4 runs, 7 hits, 4 ribbies, 5 walks, 3 Ks. A double, a triple, but no partridge in a pear tree. There was no homer. For the Mets, they mustered 6 hits and only 1 run. Cleon Jones was 2 for 4 with a double. Chris Canizero, 1 for 3. Taylor pitch did not hit. Hickman, the pinch hitter, 0 for 1. He struck out. McGraw pitch did not hit. Christopher 0 for 4 with a strikeout. Frank Thomas 0 for 4 with 2 Ks. Ron Sobota 1 for 4 with a run scored and 2 strikeouts. Ron Hunt 0 for 4. Good news, he didn't strike out at least. Charlie Smith 1 for 3 with a ribby and 2 strikeouts. Bud Harrelson 1 for 3. Ribbant the pitcher 0 for 2 with a strikeout. And Jerry Grody the pinch hitter then stayed in to catch 0 for 1 with a strikeout. The Mets in defeat. 33 at-bats, one run, six hits, one ribby, no walks. They struck out ten times, and they had two doubles. Player of the game, I would think, is Sandy Koufax. Let's just double-check. And Sandy Koufax is player of the game. Los Angeles left ten runners on base, the Mets five. Recap, Maury Wills singled in the first to extend his hit streak and then was thrown out on the pitch out. Trying to steal second. Dodgers would finally score in the top of the fourth. One run on a hit and an error. Willie Davis hit a sack fly. 1-0 Dodgers. Then they were back at it in the top of the fifth. Dodgers scored two runs as they sent seven batters to the plate. 
Mets also committed an error and walked two. Gilliam singled, scoring Parker. Tommy Davis doubled, scoring Koufax, 3-0. The Mets would finally get on the board in the seventh. They'd score one run on two hits. Charlie Smith singled, scoring Ron Swoboda, 3-1. Dodgers got that one run back in the top of the ninth. On a walk and an error, Johnny Roseboro hit a grounder. The runner scored from third, 4-1. to one. Koufax got the Mets 1-2-3 in, in the bottom of the ninth. Ball game over. Koufax 2-0, Ribant 1-1, one one. Tommy Davis 3-5, for five, a double and a triple. Chris Canizero 1-3 for three and 2 errors. And that's it, folks. Remember, up next on Bleacher Bums Gaming Channel, our good friend Anthony, he's got a Glory Days boxing matchup with his light heavyweight set. Jake Scott taking on Slapsy Maxley Rosenblum. Thank you for your time. Health and happiness. Be smart. Be safe. God bless. You know what's coming. Peace.